Hey guys, and thanks for joining me. Um, I was out here in the woods, and uh, I remembered that I uh, that I didn't get uh, my uh, my uh, video response yet to Mr. Michael, who tagged me for the uh, Meet the Bushcrafter uh, project that is going on right now. And uh, I went. I actually went out to do some uh, footage take some footage and uh, do a tutorial about edible plants in Israel and uh, I said to myself wow it's such a great beautiful day I'm gonna just stop here by this tree and uh, and do this film I'm sorry I'm not gonna be able to vocally tag the next person I'm just gonna write it down at the bottom because just I wasn't uh, getting ready for it this is kind of a spontaneous uh, <clears throat> move <clears throat> sorry so I'm gonna I'm gonna write it down the question of the movie was kind of to introduce yourself and say what you think about bushcraft and um, and uh, how did you get your bushcraft career or so. Well, I think that it was something that was uh, naturally uh, that was natural to me when I was a kid. I always liked to you know kind of go solo into the woods and find my peace of mind my mom said <clears throat> that when I was uh, uh, about three years old I told her that I'm gonna run away from home and uh, build a house in the uh, in the in the in the forest and she said I went ahead and I packed myself a little uh, plastic bag and I took you know one piece of bread and an apple and uh, <laughs> I think this was my first TDC uh, and, and I started going and just as I reached the corner and didn't see the house anymore it was you know the biggest adventure for me and it was done and I came back uh, and uh, it all started then uh, since then I just like to go out in, into the bush in the nature and uh, find my, uh, my little uh, piece of heaven uh, you know we're getting so so much drawn into the technology computers uh, you know career and stuff like that we kind of forget where we came from and I mean tch, I'm sitting here talking to you and I got some and I got some edible plants right where I am and um, when you know this stuff and you feel secure and and safe in the wild you can feel secure anywhere uh, and bushcraft for me is my uh, my inner uh, my inner focus I'm uh, like I think many of the many of the uh, people today and I think much like uh, uh, the hunters back then I wouldn't say uh, I suffer from it I say I have an advantage uh, I have a uh, you know a symptom called ADHD which is uh, well I don't know how to say it in English but you you all know what it is and to me uh, going out into the wild and, and seeing all those details in, in, in such a way and people go out in, in the wild and they just see plants and, and, and insects but when I go into the wild I see everything and the quiet the softness the rhythm the rhythm of the uh, uh, of of the wild is is better is suiting better than anything I ever tried, and when I come out here, I I really enjoy the time uh, that that I spend with myself and uh, with my family when they come with me, and I'm pretty new to bushcraft because I think that I never knew it exists. I live in Israel, and Israel is a very militant country. Uh, every time somebody goes into a hike, it's like how fast we're gonna do it you know how hard it is how many kilometers did we go through and I I just can't stand it uh, we don't have bushcrafters in Israel uh, well not much anyway and uh, everything that has to do with going out in the wild putting a backpack on your bag uh, taking a knife uh, building a fire slipping under the star everything has to do with you know military military and I'm trying to get away from it I'm trying to go into the uh, you know the edible plants, the small campfire, the slow rhythm, the relaxation of it, 
uh, the crafting. Uh, I just I love carving spoons. I never made a video about it, but I really love carving spoon. I love carving everything. And uh, I'm st I'm still looking for partners here in Israel, and uh, we're trying to. <laughs> that's my new uh, that's my new little puppy. Uh, Bo, so good. Come here. Okay. Yeah. So you know, every survivalist and bushcrafter should probably have a dog, and this one is mine. Yeah. We. We're getting to know each other right now. Uh, so, I'm trying to build a, a community uh, of bushcrafters in Israel, and I also try to uh, have a channel in Hebrew that teaches all those bushcraft and survival stuff. Uh, for a living, I, uh, I work with kids. Um, I work with kids, and I teach them uh, the, the skill, the skill of surviving the outdoors. And uh, and this is what I do for a living. So I'm really blessed to go every day into the woods for an hour, two hours, three hours with a group of youth or kids, and kind of have them uh, learn all those stuff. We just finished carving spoons. I carved last week. I helped carve over 50 spoons. You know, I kind of become a pro. I can get the whole utensils. Utensils. Uh, for Passover carved. Um, so I do this also for a living. And uh, discovering bushcraft and discovering the community was so great to me because I learned so much from you guys. I mean, not just from from my friends and, and subscribers, but you, you, you always meet new people and you always learn new stuff. And even though those are stuff that you already know, sometimes you see a different version of it and it's amazing, uh, it's amazing to me. So I hope, uh, I'm, I'm sorry, I'm just gotta look. I'm seven minutes into the video and I just hate uh, videos that are over seven minutes. So I'm gonna end here and I'm gonna put down here the people that I wanna tag. Uh, and I just wanted to thank you, Mr. Michael, for uh, thinking about Little Bushcrafter here in Israel and uh, tagging me along for this uh, beautiful ride. So thanks a lot, guys. And I'm just gonna turn the camera and give you a little piece of, of my heaven. You guys have a great weekend. And God bless.